Good morning, it is time for your health check. You know, chances are you may know someone who struggles with Alzheimer's disease. Five million Americans are living with it. And while there is some promise in new research and therapies, science shows us that keeping your brain active and healthy now may reduce your risk of ever developing Alzheimer's. Here are three positive ways to focus on brain function. First, physical activity. Movement improves mental function. It can even delay signs of dementia and Alzheimer's disease. How? Activities that increase heart rate or involve coordination are especially helpful in maintaining neurotransmitter release. So, ballroom dancing is better than a simple walk in the park, and a basketball game is better than running laps around a track. Second, mental exercises. You've heard of this before. Keep the brain guessing. Games and activities like Sudoku or crossword puzzles have been popular for years. Now there are apps designed to boost memory and mental focus. Science is still building in this arena. While not a sure way to prevent Alzheimer's, this can help to delay symptoms and keep the mind working better for longer. You could also look into learning a new language, playing an instrument, or taking up arts and crafts like painting and knitting. Finally, supplements. According to Dr. Ruben Chen, if your goal is to improve working memory, use supplements that target acetylcholine, which functions as a neurotransmitter in the brain. Look into alpha-GPC and phosphatidylserine, both amino acids believed to maintain proper brain chemistry. They form the foundation of many of our neurotransmitters that enable us to think and feel. And you gotta remember this, you can take all the supplements you want, but the takeaway I really want you to leave with this morning is improve your diet, your blood pressure, blood sugar, cholesterol levels, avoid tobacco, don't abuse alcohol, all of this stuff, you guys, puts you at a higher risk for dementia. And then secondly, take care of your emotions. When you're anxious, depressed, sleep deprived, or even exhausted, your cognitive function declines. Thinking when I retire, I'm gonna have an opportunity to have more sleep, but you and I were talking and you were saying, it's not just the amount of sleep, but the quality. Yeah, you cannot wait that, that long. You cannot wait until you retire <laughs> to sleep, okay? And that whole, I'll sleep when I'm dead thing, mm -mm, that's, that's a thing from the past. Don't, don't listen to those people. Yeah, so the, the, the deep sleep that you get into, the first half of your sleep, when you get into that real deep sleep, uh, sleep cycle, is said to improve the organ health and your joint health. The second half of your sleep really gets into that cognitive function, right? Let your brain kind of process everything that you've done and seen for that day. So that's why it's so important to get a full seven or eight hours as opposed to three or four hours. So you don't ever get into like that second half of the important stuff if you're only sleeping 50% of that. Does that make sense? Totally makes sense. Okay. And I got a long time for retirement, so I got to work yeah. on that. <laughs> Same. <laughs> as do we all. Okay.